Welcome to The Spark. I'm Anaya Falcon. Local musicians Kirsten Myers, oboe and English horn player, and Francis Drost, piano player, are a part of the two-person musical group called Double Keyed. Early last month, they released their Christmas album called Midwinter's Gift. Just 11 days after releasing their album, it charted at 13 on the Billboard Classical Crossover chart. Kirsten and Francis join us on The Spark to share their unique stories as artists and discuss their new Christmas album. Thank you both so much for joining us today. Absolutely. Thank you. We're thrilled to be here. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Well, I know just 11 days after releasing your Christmas album, it charted at 13 on Billboard Classical Crossover Chart. Francis, what was your response when you came across that accomplishment. I mean, you, you went from saying a resounding yes to uh, now receiving such an honor. I'm probably going to cry. <laughs> That's okay. It, this is what she does. I guess my first thought was, this is a scam <laughs> when I got the email. Yes. Right? I no, didn't believe it. it. Like, I didn't believe but it. the way it was worded, it, it was obviously real. Yeah. So I, then, I, yeah. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. Wow. Yeah. So... Right. It's amazing. It was, it's, it's, um, yeah, amazing. Wow. come together to create such a harmonious sound, as I said earlier in our conversation. Uh, but I know each of you have different journeys and different challenges that you may have faced um, as artists and just as human beings. So can we talk a little bit about that, Francis? I'd say there's definitely always challenges to being a musician, but my hardest one was COVID. I, I will be honest and say I think many would relate to that. All of my performances were canceled, and I felt like what I had been given here, put here on earth to do, was taken away from me. And that's another beautiful thing, I guess, why the billboard thing was just so beautiful, because I thought there were times during COVID I thought, this is it. I'm really done. I have to be done. Yeah. It's already hard to carve out a niche for yourself as a musician and make money and survive and then to have your perform. But anyway, so the good was I played the piano a lot, which is and I my husband, and I go, I would go, I can't give it up. I can't quit music yet. I just can't. That's so inspiring. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for sharing that. Thanks. Kirsten, I know you had to reimagine your musical career. Mm -hmm. Can you talk to me a little bit about that? You know, certainly when you have all of that time on your hands, you yeah. <laughs> again, the wheels start turning. And um, so and one thing I wanted to do was to connect to um, other musicians in the area and help support them and, and that kind of thing. So I did have an idea of um, putting a podcast together, which is called Life Between the Notes, um, which my friend Morgan Davis and I, um, who is a flutist in the Lancaster area, um, she and I um, eventually, now I didn't start actually doing this until it was May of this year, um, because putting these things into action is, <laughs> it takes a while. Yes. Um, so... Uh, Anyway, so we so we have we had started that um, so and which I feel is a, a great way to get musicians stories out just like you're doing. Okay. And 
so doing that and then as well as as the album um, and and doing the album you know i i think we have yet to see like all that will come from that um but so far um with the responses that we have gotten from other people who have been listening to it um and just that it the album gives them a sense of of peace um some people have described it as emotionally stirring yeah the feedback we're getting is just i just feel such peace mm-hmm. when i listen and yeah that's so and and getting getting that from um other people has been so <laughs> fulfilling yeah. really and and to know and that's the idea um to help people through your music touching people making them you know trying to bring down that stress level trying to um just improve the quality of of life and that's to me that's the idea of this album as well well it's been a pleasure speaking with both of you today thank you well, thank you thanks so much for having yeah, us thank you, thank you.